I'm in Home Assistant again today, and I'm going to show you how I am going to add a temperature offset into a dashboard. So I've set a few things up under the hood. Let me just give you a quick tour. Here's an empty dashboard, temps. Let's just go ahead and edit this. Now we'll start adding some cards in here. I'll search by entity and I will find my RUV1 temperature. Let's just add that straight in. So you can see at the moment, it's giving me 19.86. What I have done is I've created another entity that has an offset and it's showing 29.84. So there's 10 degree difference. And what I did is I created an input number or a little helper. Here's the input number. And it's currently set to 10 degrees. So if I want an offset of one degree, there it is. If I want an offset of 20 degrees, and so on and so forth. You get the idea. Okay, so we'll just keep it on 10. So you can clearly see it's at the exact moment the Rule V1 temperature sensor reports an update. This sensor Rule V1 with offset instantly updates as well. So this way, I, yes, have two temperatures that I'm tracking. However, it means that I get to display this Rule V1 with offset in a dashboard that's visible for everyone in the house to see. But in my raw data, I still have the Rule V1 temperature. And you can see it just didn't update that super quick. And I can just specify the offset I want. So if I said I wanted to go with a one degree offset or even a 0.9 or 0.8, there it is. It's done just like that. To show you a little bit more, this particular sensor is set up in the YAML configuration. So I'll show you in my Studio Code Server plugin. Here it is. I created this sensor called Rule V1 with offset, unit of measurement, degrees Celsius. And then here is a handy little cool thing. So what I did is I've just declared that the value of Rule V from sensor Rule V1 temperature make it a floating number and then offset. And I'm taking the input number value and I'm just adding those two together. This works really, really nicely. And one more thing I can show you is if I go into devices and services, go to helpers, and here you can see this is the input number rule V1 offset. So this was the sort of entity I created that is this input number. Okay, if you want me to dig into more detail, well, just let me no, but as for now, this is all I've got to show you today. I'm pretty happy with this. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.